Imagine you just started using a new marketing tool and it generates valuable data you need to analyze. Your organization also uses Looker Studio to explore data and create business intelligence reports. How can you get the new marketing tool's data into your Looker Studio reports? Or imagine your company uses Looker to model, monitor, and visualize its retail data. But your executive stakeholders are not familiar with Looker and prefer to use other applications. How do you bring the important retail data to the stakeholders' favorite applications? Well, with a little coding and technical knowledge, you can extend and adapt Looker and Looker Studio's functionality to serve your business intelligence needs. Hi, welcome to our video series on developing with Looker and Looker Studio. I'm Jeremy, a Senior Developer Relations Engineer at Looker. In this video series, we'll get you started on your developer journey with the different ways you can develop on Looker and Looker Studio. In this intro video, we'll provide a quick overview of the developer features available on Looker and Looker Studio. In the following videos, we'll dive deeper into each feature to help you get started. So, what can you develop? For Looker, you can create Looker blocks, embed Looker content, and develop Looker extensions. For Looker Studio, you can use its linking API and create community connectors and community visualizations. Well, first, what are Looker blocks? They are pre-built data models for common analytical patterns and data sources. Let's say, for example, your company uses Google Analytics, or GA for short, and you want to explore your GA data in Looker. The Looker Marketplace provides a GA block to install as a starting point. The GA block configures your Looker fields and measures, so you can immediately start exploring your GA data with pre-made dashboards that analyze topics like user behavior. And later, as your business needs change, you can customize your blocks to your use case and develop new ones too. Now, what is Looker embedding? It is the ability to embed Looker functionality inside your own application. Let's go back to the problem at the beginning of this video. Your stakeholders do not log in to the Looker platform, but they still need to view the dashboards to make business decisions. You can use the Looker Embed SDK to embed a Looker dashboard as an iframe inside the applications your stakeholders use. Additionally, your applications can programmatically control the embedded Looker dashboard's style and functionality. Next, what are Looker extensions? Looker extensions are custom-built web applications hosted on Looker. Ever had stakeholders ask for features that just take a while to build? Say your stakeholders still want more functionality on top of the Looker platform. You could develop a whole new web app, set up the infrastructure, and figure out how to integrate the app with Looker. Or instead, you can use the Looker extension framework to have the Looker platform host your web application inside Looker. The framework also provides easy integration points for your app to access Looker features like authentication and API access. Build the extra functionality you need faster with the Looker extension framework. Now let's talk about Looker Studio's developer features. What is the Looker Studio linking API? From a template report, the linking API provides a programmatic way to generate a Looker Studio report. Let's say your organization uses Google Analytics to track metrics across multiple product features. The GA data all share the same schema, but each stakeholder only wants to see a report pertaining to their product features metrics. With the linking API, you can create a custom URL with parameters that will automatically generate a Looker Studio report from a template. You can now integrate the URL generation flow into your own application and programmatically serve Looker Studio reports tailored to each of your stakeholders. Lastly, what are Looker Studio community connectors and visualizations? Let's go back to the problem at the beginning of this video. You have a new marketing tool and you need to visualize the tool's marketing data inside a Looker Studio report. First, 
you can create a Looker Studio Community Connector to connect and model the new marketing data source into a format Looker Studio can understand. You can make use of existing ones in our marketplace or build your own community connector with AppScript. Now you have your marketing data inside Looker Studio. However, your stakeholders want to visualize the data in a unique way. You can build your own Looker Studio community visualization. Then add the visualization to your Looker Studio reports to display your data in whatever way you want. That was just a brief overview of the many ways you can develop on Looker and Looker Studio. We want to provide you with a high-level understanding of the development capabilities our platforms offer. Look forward to upcoming videos where we'll dive deeper into each feature we discuss. In the meantime, if you're eager to get started, check out the link documentation for Looker and Looker Studio's extensive developer features. See you in the next video.